With the latest SteamOS 3.4, let me show you how to use external hard drives with your Steam Deck for your Steam Deck library for your Steam games. With this new update, we, we get a lot of features, but for me, the most important is this one. To be able to use external hard drives with, um, with Steam Deck. External drives formatted as ext4, ext4 are now automatically mounted and available for use in Steam. This is an incredible, incredible um, uh, uh, feature. And as I said, I was waiting for this from the beginning. Um, I have here a four terabyte um, uh, hard drive and this is fantastic, but it's not an automatically process let me show you how to format this and how to set writing permissions for it. Otherwise, you won't be able to access it for Steam library. So um, here it is. This is the hard drive. As you see it, it has um, four terabytes. This is it. And um, at this point, uh, we can uh, we can mount it in Steam. But let's go here and let me show you every every step. Go uh, to System, select um, KDA Partition Manager. Just open it. Enter your password. By the way, you have to set a password for your user. And at this point, we have the external drive here. We will need to format it in ext4. For that, anything that you see here in this window, just click on it. If you, if you cannot delete it, press unmount. And at this point, you can right click, press delete. And after that here, press apply. Apply pending operation and wait. After this operation, we will, um, we will format basically, uh, this unallocated space 3.6 terabytes so right click here select new and here select external 4 ext4 ext4 put your name here just select select by the way uh, uh, write a label for for this I will put HDD and press OK after that. And don't forget to press apply to execute this. And you will have to wait. I will let the video to see how much time you need for um, this hard drive, four terabytes to be um, formatted as ext4. From this point, you are at half. And now all you have to do is to set writing permissions otherwise you won't be able to use the hard drive for your steam library so let's wait for this to finish and i will show you immediately it's a simple command uh, line and um, you have to type it in um, in your console it's very simple don't worry so um Let's wait. I want to, to wait here and to for you to be able to see basically what's, what's happening and what you have to do. Now at this point we have to enter the password again. And everything is ready. Press OK. And you, you should be able to see here the partition. And also, don't forget here in um, in uh, most recent device to select automatically mount. Just right click here on this, configure removable device and select these features on login or connection. And also here automatically mount new devices press apply and after that when you insert your hard drive it will be automatically mounted so here we have the hard drive we can close now the partition manager and let's go here to system search this console terminal open it 
And here, if you don't have a password for your user from settings, you can set it over there uh, here. Just type here. Um, one moment, in fact, I believe this is it, password um, to be able to, to to set it, you have to type pass um, D, in fact, if I'm not wrong, let's, this is it. You have to type this. And you will be ask, asked to, to enter a new password if you don't have one and after that to repeat it. And this is it, you, you, will, uh, you'll, you will set from here the password. Let's close this and let's, uh, let's open it again. I have a password, so I don't have to, I don't have to enter another one. So uh, again, I repeat, you will need a password in order to, to make all these steps. After you have a password, open this and um, enter cd space slash run slash media slash deck slash so this is the code and press enter at this point type l and s two letters press enter and you see your hard drive at this point, we have HDD. If you don't set a name in uh, KDA Partition Manager, you'll see here a long number. So um, you want to you you want to basically to, for it to be easier for you to not copy paste. At this point, to to set writing permissions, let's check it here to to see what it will change. So we have here the hard drive. If we, if we click here on properties, we see permissions here, user root, and the deck doesn't have permissions to, 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 to write anything here. Immediately I will show you how this changes. So after you, after, uh, you type ls, and see the, the hard drive name, type here, sudo space chown or ch own space deck space and the name, in this case hdd and a slash, don't forget this, it's very important, press enter Enter the password, that's why you need a password. And this is it, it's, it's done. Let's, let's check if everything is fine. Open the Explorer, right click here on HDD, Properties, Permissions. And now you see here the user is set to deck. And you can, uh, you can write anything uh, anything on it. So um, press OK, close all these, and now in Steam Store, the final step go to Settings, Downloads, Steam Library Folders, and here press the Add button, and now you have the hard drive. So um, I would say it's pretty impressive. Press add and you will have the hard drive here, which is impressive. As I said, I wanted this feature for so long and finally here it is. At this point, you can install anything on your um, 
let's let's go to uh, to gaming mode to to see that the hard drive is there and that you have uh, those uh, four terabytes available for uh, for your games. So here it is, settings, storage, and here it is, four ter uh, 3.6 terabytes. This is um, this is great, and now you can use any hard drive for your games.